Hi, I'm Mira. Welcome to Flow with Mira. We have an intimate full body workout. Today, I want you to take your time and really tune into your practice today. It will be traditional intermediate Pilates exercises. So let's go on the mat right now. So we're gonna start the class um, sitting. We are going to sit in a diamond leg position. You may cross your leg if you feel that is more comfortable for you. Find your upright position here. Just take a moment and let the body to arrive on a mat. Perching on your sitting bone, sitting nice and tall. And then we're just gonna start with some neck roll here. So I'm going to just turn my head to the side and go ahead and rotate your head and your neck carefully to one direction. Nice and gentle, nice and easy. Just breathing as you go. Inhaling. And then exhaling. Just observing how is your neck feeling today? Maybe a little stiff. Maybe it's feeling awesome. Whatever it is, acknowledge it. And let's bring that to a stop and let's go over to the other direction. Over to the side. Ask yourself, how are you today? How am I? How are you feeling? Listen to your body. Observe your body as we do our practice today. And we go one more direction. Not one more direction, one more round. There's only two directions left and right. <laughs> and then let's bring it back. Okay, some lateral stretch. So let's tilt the head over to your right shoulder and then bring the right arm over and then gently press away. My hair is in the way. Gently press the shoulder away from the ear. And here, still honoring your upright alignment in the spine. And just the in breath. Exhale, pull away the shoulder and the head in opposite direction. And in breath. Exhale. So one more breath here. And exhale. And release that gently. And let's go over to the other side. And tilt the head away. Shoulder pulling out. And pulling down the shoulder and pulling away in the head. We in breath. And exhale. And in breath. Exhale. Again, observe which side feels a little tighter. Mine is on my left side. I used to have a, quite a bad neck injury when I was much younger. When I was 20 years old, so um, my left side tends to be a lot more tighter than my right. And then come back. Okay, arms out to the side for lateral stretch over to your right hand side. As we inhale, long spine, exhale, softening the bottom elbow, take the top arm over. And make sure you're really still sitting on your sitting bone here. You don't want to lift that pelvis up, but anchor that sitting bone down by reaching your arm in opposite direction. And then lengthening the spine, come up, center. Over, over to the other side. And inhale, take the arm over. Anchor the sitting bone, reaching the arm long. Inhale, exhale, go deeper into the stretch. And back to center again. One more each side, we in breath. Exhale, anchor the hip, reaching the arms away. Create space in between each vertebra and the spine. And lifting up and come back. Last one, in breath. Exhale, over. Inhale, really lengthening the spine away from the pelvis. Exhale, go a little deeper into the stretch. And come back up and release. Let's face the front of the mat. So we still have our legs in a diamond position here. All right, taking your arms forward. Gently press the feet 
against each other here so that you activate the inner thigh, the middle line of the legs. Take an inhale as you grow tall towards the sky. As we exhale, draw in into your C curve so your shoulder goes over your pelvis. Your neck is still in good alignment with the rest of the spine, rest of the vertebrae. And then from there, you roll back, move back from the hip joint, get the sacrum down, melting to the floor, roll back down to the floor, still in control with the abdominal here. Inhale, we pass. Exhale, we take ourselves up and over. Bring the shoulder over the pelvis, back to that C curve, lifting through the spine and come up right. Exhale, we round the spine. This is the class where you open your internal eyes and roll back and really look into your body internally. Exhale, come up again and just observe or listen or maybe create a deeper, deeper, deepest connection that you can find today and again we roll back today we move with integrity with precision with control and exhale we come up and over we take our time to bring our body into the right places and lift the spine and again into that C curve, are we pulling away or pulling in our abdominal, pulling away our spine, are we creating length and space in our spine? And we roll back, are we moving from the hip joint? Now we stay in that C curve there, bring your arms on the outside of your thigh, turn your legs back to a parallel position, feet are hip width distance apart, your pelvis back to neutral, and then go ahead, lower the head and the arms down, ready for our pelvic curl. Take a in breath. Exhale. The first thing's gonna happen is your abdominal drawing in the lower spine to the floor. Your bottom now is off the floor. Then you press the feet and then you use your hamstring to help you peel the spine up to that bridging position. We're going to finish that highest height with our glute, our bottom muscle, and I'll finish pressing the arms down and pressing the spine up a little higher. In breath at the top, in the thighs are active. Exhale, we melt the spine down, the rib cage, the middle back, the lower back the pelvis back to what we call the neutral position. We in breath. Exhale, hollowing the abdominal to imprint the lower back down and curling up. Use the hamstring. Try not to push up with the lower back, but really your lower back is nice and chilling, nice and quiet. But your hamstrings are having a party. Your glutes are having a party. Your abdominal is having a party here. Your arm muscles are having a party here. Inhale. Exhale. As you elongate the neck away, you roll the spine down. Vertebra by vertebra, we roll it down and release again. Exhale, we roll up, pressing the feet, lifting up the glutes, holding abdominal in, lengthening the neck in breath. And exhale, we roll down and down and release. And last one, we're going to stay up on this one. And we roll up again, pressing the feet, lifting the pelvis, reaching the arms long. Now, lift the right heel up. The pelvis is still even. Lower the right heel, lift the left one up. And then lift the right heel, left one comes down. So a little prancing with the feet. And lift. Lift, inhale, lift, inhale, lift, exhale. Your pelvis is still high here. In breath, exhale. Inhale. Let's tune into your center so your pelvis doesn't wobble. And 
in breath. In breath. Last set. In breath. Both heels are up. Can we lift the pelvis a little higher? Then hold that new height, lower the heels down. We stay, float the arms up to the sky. Palms facing each other. We open up to the side. Exhale. My hamstrings are crying. And an inhale. How are yours? Exhale. In breath. I'm definitely warming up my center here. And two more with the arms. All right, make sure you do not drop that pelvis down. And last one. And lift, lift, lift. Take the arms, palms facing to your thighs. Or bring your arms overhead. Hold the arms back there. Then you go ahead and roll the spine down. Melting away to the floor. Ooh, and release the pelvis back down. Oh, they're definitely on fire, those hamstrings. All right, interlace your hands behind your head here, ready for the chest lift. So we cup our head, bring the elbows off the floor, take an in breath as we lengthen the spine. We exhale, we're gonna tune into our center, our abdominal, and we lift the chest up. Ideally, the pelvis should stay neutral. We inhale, we take the arms forward, we lift up a little higher. Take your arms back behind your head, and then we come down. Exhale, as we fall forward from the lower rib cage, that's your upper abdominals. Inhale, we reach forward and lift up a little higher. And then arms back. And back down. Again, exhale, we fall forward. Inhale, reach. And exhale, hold that new heart, arms back. And come back down. Again, two more, lift. Are you deflating the abdominal before you come up? You should. Inhale, lift. And back down. And one more, we'll lift. Are your feet active? Inhale. Now let's stay here. Lift one leg up to tabletop. Second leg up the tabletop, grab the back of your thighs. Can we come up a little higher? Use your arm muscles. Okay, now hold that new height. Bring your hands back behind your head. Now leg changes, one leg down. We switch. Movement comes from the hip joint. And change. And change. So if I have a cup of tea resting on my pelvis, I shouldn't be spilling my tea everywhere. And out, and breathe out. Two, one. Both legs back up to tabletop. We lower one foot, place it down. Second leg, place it down. Take your arms forward behind the thigh. Come up a little higher again. Now, take your arms back behind your head. Chest lift with rotation over to me. Inhale, center. Over to you. Inhale, center. To me, I'm gonna find that direction. And rotate from the waistline. Two more sets. Last set. Come back to center. Reach arms forward. Grab the back of your thigh. Come up a little higher. All right. And then take your arms back behind your head and release. Brilliant. Let's take the legs long on the floor. Squeeze them together. Take your arms overhead for the roll ups here. So, ah. Uh, Try to get that rib cage to lengthen down to the pelvis. In fact, you must get the rib cage to lengthen down to the pelvis. And squeeze in the inner thighs for me, please. Let's take your arms up to the 90. And then we'll lift the chest to the chest. So your arm will arrive on the side of your thigh. And then we'll take a moment to really pull in the abdominal. And then we'll lift from the hip joint. 
We maintain that C curve as we bring our body over here in that C curve. Now we inhale, lengthening the spine, but still honoring the C curve. And then we move back from the hip joint. And then we go back to that chest lift position. And then we take the hip down, the arms up, and then the arms go overhead. And again, we inhale, arms lifting up and pull in the center from the hip joint. And we go up and over in a seeker position, in breath. Exhale, we roll back to that chest lift height. Then we take the arms over. One more, arms up. So let's move with really, really good intention right now, with momentum, with control. Pull in the center, your pelvis is in now what we call posterior tilt. And then we lift up into that C curve. Then hold an in breath as we lengthen the spine, still in the C curve. Then we roll back to the chest lift. Take your arms overhead and we stay. Turn the palms up to the sky. Bring the feet in one and then two. Leg up to table, top one and two. Squeeze them together, ready for the hundred. So we go, the arms come up and the head, chest up. Straighten the legs in appropriate height for you. Get the lower back on the floor, we in breath. Exhale, we go. Inhale, can we float a little higher? Exhale, pump, two, three, four, five. Two more sets. Last set. Stay, reach forward, drag the knees into your chest. Hold. Open arms for a T. Come on down. Spine twist supine over to me. We inhale, moving from the waistline. Make it neat. Exhale. Return, press the arms down to anchor the shoulders and inhale over to you. Exhale. Imagine you are a mermaid or a merman. So you are just rotating your fin to the right and left from the waistline. And inhale. Exhale. And in breath. Exhale. The knees stay next to each other. Exhale, one last set, inhale. It's not about a stretch, although it does feel good to stretch, but really about control of the oblique while you're rotating the lower half of your body and come back to center. All right, stay there. Lift the head and the chest up, grab the knees. Now bring the thighs a little closer to your chest, ready for our double leg stretch. Now use your arm. Deep in the center, can you come up a little bit more without curling your pelvis? All right, so you find that new height, you're going to maintain it. We inhale, we reach them away from each other, legs and arms, arms to the side, then drag the legs in. Inhale, reach them out, arms to the side, then drag the legs in. It's almost like your legs has like a split second delay before you pull them in and two more. A split second delay. And I want you to have the sensation of moving in a jelly pool. So we've got density in here. So just pull again or push against that jelly. Or oh, you can also think peanut butter or jam. Anything that is heavy and a bit sticky. Two more. And one more. And and stay, walk your hands towards your ankle or just above the ankle. Now curl the bottom up, 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 up. It's like reverse rolling like a ball here. Now curl the bottom up, 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 rock up. Bam, I hope you got that. <laughs> right, so we are on to our rolling like a ball here. So 
We are in a balanced position. Your toes are off the floor. Right, look down to the pelvis, maintain that C curve, and let's roll back to your shoulder. Bottom comes up, and balance. Inhale, we roll back. Exhale, we balance. So we are going to honor your curve. Woo, almost lost mine. As you roll back and come to the balance, and we really need to lock the position of your feet using the beautiful bicep of yours. Your arm muscle, make use of those strong arm muscles. And next day is long, two more. So tuning into your deep, deep, deep core. And whoo, balance, 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 and feed them. All right, straighten the legs forward. Shoulder width apart, slightly wider if you need to. Lift the spine for the spine stretch. The arms come forward, your feet are actively dorsiflex, so pull the toes towards you. From here, breathe out as you roll the spine down and forward. And then fall through the hips to go a little bit deeper as you inhale. Exhale, lifting lower abdominal, middle abdominal, upper abdominal, shoulder stacking, neck stacking, and head. Exhale, we roll down and forward. Inhale, we go a little bit deeper in that stretch. Exhale, we use abdominal to pick and stack the spine back and hoping that every time we roll forward and up, we are going to create more space in between each vertebra of the spine. In breath, exhale, we roll out. Can we create more space? Can we create more freedom in our spine? And one more. Can we be a little bit more grounded to the floor at the same time? Heavy yet light. And bring it up and stay. Bend the knees. Time for the open leg rocker. We are going to bend the knees for now and then take the other one up. So your legs are in a diamond leg position, but your back is flat. You watch that I'm slightly in diagonal position here, but my arms are nice and long. Okay, so here we are going to roll through C curve. So engage your abdominal, then take you to a rolling and then come forward and then engage that back muscle, come up to that beautiful flat back. And we're gonna round back. So through the spine we roll and then we lift through the back. And two more. So this is the preparation for the open leg rocker. And last one. And we go forward and we lift through the spine. Then we're gonna stretch the leg. One, to your maximum knee extension, two. All right, now proud chest. All right, hold on to the leg. My arm muscles are working very hard. So we go rounding, rolling forward, pulling the leg forward and lifting through the spine. And we round. And legs lead you, bend you put a break, and I want you to come up with the spine. And then rolling. Let the legs lead you, bend. Then, not bend, then you lengthen the spine. Two more, we round. Then lift and up. Last one, you round and lifting, lifting, lifting. And then bring the legs together, bend the knees and slide the leg forward again. Straighten the legs, arms, for, arms to the side, palms forward for our soul. We dorsiflex our feet. Let's rotate to me first. We inhale. Move the arm forward and back, internally behind, with the arm behind you. And then hinge forward, keep both sitting bone down to the floor. As you lift the spine up, the back arm come to the side, open the other arm, return to center. We rotate, we move the arm, we hinge forward, but still activating your back muscle. As we bring the spine up, the back arm moves to the side, Open the arms to a T position and center. At all times, your pelvis should be grounded on a mat and hinge forward. And come up, 
arms to the side, open, center, we rotate, we move the arms, we hinge forward, and we come up, open, open, center, let's go two more, quicker, and faster, forward, and left, open and center, and we rotate, arm, hinge forward, and open, open, center, last set, and arms, and forward, back onto the side, open, center, last one, make it neat, and forward, back onto the side, open, ta-da, legs together, point your feet, hands behind you for the back support, so we have our back muscle active here, proud chest, and we'll lift, look to the sky, and we fall through the hip, just touch it, and then we bounce back up again. And then fall to the hip, just touching, and bounce back up again. And we fall, and up. Imagine the floor is lava. That's what Kaya likes to play this day. Mommy, the floor is lava. You cannot touch the floor, you gotta jump. All right, so we got, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna just touch the floor and lift up and just touch the floor and lift up because it's hot one more time just touch the floor and lift up 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 and lower all right bring the pelvis forward arms are forward your feet are still in parallel roll down to the floor arms by the side walk your feet closer to your bottom Shoulder bridge prep. Make sure your feet are in parallel, hip width distance apart, your knees are as well. Take a in breath and a beautiful pelvic curl for me, please. All the way up to that beautiful bridging position. Anchor the left foot, take the right leg up to the tabletop, and then we lower. Tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Three, two, one. We take the foot down and reestablish the pelvis just in case you fall, not fall, in case you lose that position. And then anchor the other foot, bring the other leg up. We lower, lift, we lower, lift, we lower, lift. Three more, two. One, we lower the foot, lift the pelvis a notch higher, and we roll through the spine, and back to your start position. Now extend the leg closer to me, down on the floor, and the arm go overhead as well, and then turn your body, face me, and up onto our sidekick. So we're going to our elbow here, now make sure that this shoulder is not sinking down, but I want you to pull the armpit girdle towards your heart and continue the energy out from the opposite elbow. Legs are straight, take the top leg up, flex the foot, let's go forward. Inhale, hold it in here. Exhale, inhale. You can sway a little bit, but not too much. You're still in control in your center. Inhale, exhale, inhale, pulse, pulse, exhale, pulse, pulse. Two more. Last, reach back, back, lower, together. Swing your leg over to the other side. There. And we've got second side. All right, we do not want to collapse here. We want to pull that shoulder girdle in towards your heart, open up the chest, and allow the energy to exit out and the opposite elbow. Okay, reach the leg away. Flex, we go. In breath. Exhale, pulse, pulse, inhale, pulse, back, and, and, and. Reach. Two more sets. Reach. Last. Reach, reach, reach. Bring the legs together. 
and we're going to our front. We've got our back extension, our swimming, and single leg kick. So we have the legs together. Imagine you are a merman or a mermaid, palms to your thighs, arms by the side. You are just going to hover the head off the floor. We exhale, pick up the abdominal as we inhale, we lift the upper back up. And we exhale, we come down. And then we inhale, we glad the shoulder blade, we'll lift the crown of the head away, make sure the neck is still good alignment with the rest of the spine. We're not wanting to break that neck alignment. Look down, stay long and come down. Again, inhale, we lift, lift, lift. Exhale, two more. Inhale, lift, lift. Exhale, last one, lift, up. Let's stay, circle the arms forward. Lift the legs off, right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. And we move for the swimming, inhale for five. Exhale, keep the elbows and the knees long. Exhale. You know, this we call it sometimes the reverse hundreds. We go exhale for five, inhale for five. Three more, set. Two more. Last one. We hold and release down. Now bend the elbows. Come up to the tripod arm triangle position. All right, so activating the back, the middle back here. Neck is long, single leg kick. Lifting the legs up, right leg, left, and inhale, and inhale, and, and, and. Two more. Last set. Extend the legs away off the floor and down. Release the hands, bring the elbows back, push off the floor, round in the back. Sit back for a quick rest position. Inhale, exhale, one more. And up we go to a quadruped position. Align the shoulder and your wrist. Dimple off the elbows, inward facing each other. Knee and the hip in one vertical alignment. Now I am guilty of hyperextending my elbow most of the time. So those of you who have sent me messages and pointed that to me, excellent observation. All right, so let's not be like me. <laughs> let's engage those biceps and your triceps. Let's go to our cat. Breathe up. We round. And then into a neutral spine and then hold the lower abs and extend the upper back. And exhale. And we round. And then into neutral. And upper back extend. And two more. Exhale. And through neutral, upper back, arch. One last, please. We round, round, round. And through neutral, extend the upper back and back to neutral. All right, we're going to draw the lower abs. We've got front support coming up. I'm going to move forward a little bit. Here. Not that I'm really tall, but um, <laughs> just a habit. <laughs> All right, so we're going to lift the lower abs so that your lower spine 
slightly towards the flat side. Then we extend one leg behind you, tuck the toes under, your hamstrings are on, your abs are on, your glute is also on. Then you maintain that beautiful straight line, then extend the other leg out. All right, so reach in the heels and crown the head in opposite direction and your belly is lifted up. Take right leg knee, right knee in as you exhale and slide up without disturbing the pelvis and then keep changing the leg right and left. And up, exhale, and up, exhale, and up, exhale, and up, exhale, and up, exhale. One more each side. Last one. We stay into the panther. Sit back. And then here, step forward. Now step forward, push forward back to your plank. Two more. Sit back. Knees are off the floor. And to the front support position. Last one. And in front support position. Let's do one more time. We're gonna jump the leg forward. From here in the count of three, jump the feet between your hands. So three, two, one, forward, sit, lift the spine. Okay, now grab the back of thigh, lean back. One more exercise and then we're done. Lean back. Now here, bring the legs up the table. Arms are forward, teaser, prep. We in breath. Exhale, just arrive, just arrive, arrive. And then from here, in breath. Exhale, let's roll down. Bring the pelvis back, lower back, back. And just where you feel you are seeing good control, we're gonna come up again, in breath. So how low, how far down? Everyone's a bit different. And exhale, but I want you to go down. When it's not turning back, when you almost lose that control, lose every bubble, but you're not gonna lose it. You're gonna rebound yourself back up as you inhale. And engage the back muscle. Two more. Exhale. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Do not lose the abdominal contraction. Then you come back up again. One more. So we're not resting down there. We are always active, active, active. And back, 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 back. We lower, open the knee. And let's finish with some roll down. Take a knee and breath. Exhale, articulating the spine down, walk your hands. And allow your head to rest momentarily onto your feet. And an exhale, roll back up. Two, sitting up tall. Excellent work. We're done. You're a superstar. They have an excellent class. Pilates is about moving with integrity. Tune into your body. Move with control. Move with precision. You are going to be stronger than ever before. Excellent work you back on a mat tomorrow. Well done on completing this class, your star. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free six day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This six day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow With Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.